Good afternoon, everyone. Hopefully everyone's having a great day of sales. So I hit a few thrifts this morning. I ended up hitting four, actually. Got a lot of stuff. So hopefully this lasts the entire weekend for me because it's a lot. Got a ton, ton of good stuff, too. So I spent about, uh, I think, around 700 bucks. Should quadruple that at least everything goes well so hopefully everyone's day is going well too and they have a great weekend of sales thanks for joining today i know it's kind of short notice i got home it's been raining all day actually it's been raining in michigan for like four days straight the weather's been pretty shitty so that's always fun uh but yeah so uh let's get into it because it's kind of a lot of stuff first thing is a peter millar shirt started picking this up lately uh I used to pass up on it but saw comps and they're usually they usually sell for about 25 or 30 bucks uh i paid 40 dollars and 54 cents for it so got a bunch of these uh eco plus uh premium toner cartridges they were two bucks a piece uh there was only one listing on ebay and it was for like 25 bucks so I'll undercut them. I'll probably sell them for like 20 to 22. And they should move decently quick. Printer ink always moves very well for me. Just uh, if you guys ever pick it up, make sure it's not expired. I didn't actually see an expiration date on this. But uh, I know on like some HP ink, if it's expired, it won't even work in the printer and you're going to have an unhappy customer. So welcome, Vito's Closet. Thanks for joining me. Sugar Needs eBay and Slay, everyone, thank you for joining me. I know you guys are busy, and uh, I do appreciate if you guys, or I do appreciate when you guys do come out and hang out. It's a, always a fun time. But yeah, I got uh, one, two, three, I think I got five of these, so not too bad, and they're only two bucks a piece. Got a sealed puzzle. Uh, this is gonna go on Amazon. Pick this up for 350. Uh, there was only or there's no one on the listing, so I set my own price. I think I listed it at like 15 or 16 bucks plus shipping, so I'll probably get that much. Uh, usually, sorry, I need to shut off my phone. Uh, puzzles seem to do pretty well for me on Amazon. So I don't know. I think these are men's, but look at these. Just disco shorts. I'm pretty sure they're men's. So the brand's called Beta Brand. Uh, so when I helped my buddy move out once, uh, he had a bunch of clothes from his old roommate and they were uh, a bunch of jeans called beta brand. I've never heard of them. I just threw them up on auction and they, they sold decently well. So I picked this up to s just see what they, if they do well at all. These are $4. So I could lose my ass on them, but whatever. It's only four bucks. Someone, someone will want to go to the disco, <laughs> disco with those. Got some Salvatore Ferragamo dress shoes. Pretty, very good condition actually. Uh, just polish them up a little. I paid up for these. I ended up paying $32 for these, but I'm probably gonna ask about 120 to 140 on them. Uh, always seem to do well and they're, they're a good size. They're a size 10 or 10 and a half, I believe. Yeah, they're size 10 and a half, so they should go decently quick. Here's a vintage Puma, Los Angeles Rams, or this would have been St. Louis Rams, actually. Now they're Los Angeles. Kurt Warner, football jersey. This was eight bucks. I didn't even look up comps. Uh, Warner's a pretty popular player, and it's a vintage jersey, so should I probably I might look up comps, but I'll probably just price it at like thirty to thirty-five bucks. Picked up a, so usually I don't pick up Nautica suits, but this is a two-piece suit. It was only a buck, so I can know I can make some money. Uh, so what? So what, my thrift store is on Fridays around the area. They do a five for five, uh, five for five dollar color tag sale, and so what I've started to do is pick up all the uh, ninety-nine or dollar color tags, and then put all those on auction with shipping. That way, like even if it is a good brand, I'll just put it at start at ninety nine cents, six fifty shipping, and that way I can 
still have auctions every single day and hopefully that will bring more people and more traffic to my store so even if they sell for 99 cents with the six dollars and fifty cents for shipping i'll still make a little bit of money so i'm using i'm using those auctions more to bring people into my store rather than trying to make a ton of money but i mean obviously with any auction you can it can pop at any moment and you can make a bunch of money but that's my reasoning behind that so these are no name brand don't even know what the brand is uh center center aisle is the brand but these kind of reminded me of the vintage guests wave that's going on right now so i picked them up and so like i'll put in the description like guest like uh denim shorts they i still i'm gonna ask like 35 or 40 bucks on them i may or may not get it i don't know it's worth a shot though So again, this is another brand I don't pick up unless it's super cheap. And this wasn't wasn't even that cheap, but it was a good print. American, it was American Eagle. It's like an Aztec print, and these always seem to do pretty well. Or this type of print. Try it out. See see what happens. I'll probably price that at about like twenty or twenty five bucks. I don't know if I'll, I'll get that, but you never know unless you try. Here's another decent brand, uh, an original Penguin. These are jeans. I've actually never sold their jeans before. I typically only sell their polos or their dress shirts. But I figure I'll give it a shot. Made in the USA. Oh, yeah. Actually, this will help a lot. I didn't even notice that when I bought them. White oak cone denim. It's a special – or it's like a higher-end denim uh, brand, I think. It might be like a different brand. I don't know. Uh, but – I've sold white oak cone denim before and they, they, they do sell well. This is only a buck. Again, this is just going to go on auction, just a Ralph Lauren uh, polo. So all the green tags today were five for five bucks. So I believe this is a women's uh, short sleeve, like Hawaiian shirt. It's Rain Spooner. So it's Phil Edwards by Rain Spooner. I don't know who Phil Edwards is. Edwards is. He might be the person who made the print of the shirt. I don't know, but Rain Spooner always does well. Uh, kind of sucks it's women's, but it still should sell well. I don't know. Uh, this actually, this shirt's headed to Nicole's, a.k.a. State's Place. This is for Joe. Uh, she, she texted me before and was like, hey, yeah, if you ever find any uh, Hawaiian shirts, then shoot me a pic and i'll buy it off of you so i'm sending that to her uh, i think i paid three bucks for it i'm just charging her what i paid for it and uh shipping here's a vintage nautica competition kind of a bigger logo half zip fleece sweater uh this was 8.99 minus the the 35 percent off that i get uh so the or so the Salvation Army is around me. They do a 35% off loyalty card. So every $250 you spend, you get a 35% off card. Uh, and yeah, every every time I go in there, I'm spending 300 or yeah, like 300 plus. Like today I spent 400 at the Salvation Army. Uh, I got 90, 98 pieces, I believe, at that one thrift store. I, I hit four today. So, so this is like after the discount, it was like $5.84. Folks, state of mind. Yeah, we were supposed to have it yesterday, but uh, Nicole texted me saying she got super busy. I was also super busy yesterday, so I was kind of glad that I didn't have to get on. Uh, but yeah, look for it next week. So sorry about that, guys. If you guys were looking for the show this week, stuff happens. People get busy. She has a she has a family. Uh, I don't, but you gotta you gotta roll with it sometimes. Here's a Banana Republic Slim Fit Soft Wash dress shirt. This was $6.49. Again, if you watch my videos in the past, you know that I like selling these. I usually get 20 to 25 bucks for them all day. It's a nice find. A vintage champion. Kind of a bigger logo. I would say it would be like a medium-sized logo. A long sleeve shirt. Uh, Vintage Champions very hot right now, so if you do find it, pick it up. 
this was uh yeah i only paid a buck 29 after it was all said and done i'll ask 25 on it i uh, i shop all over michigan not just ann arbor another vintage pair of Jerbaud jeans what size are these these are 38s so kind of on the bigger side but I don't know. They've kind of fell off for me, pricing heads. I don't know if it's since I've started making YouTube videos and people started picking them up and just dropping the price on them, but I used to get like 50 bucks all day for them, but now I'm struggling to get 35. So I don't know if the people that watch my YouTube have just tanked the price on them, but it's all right. I'll, I will, uh, I'll still make money on them. Here's some Patagonia uh, pants, like outdoor pants. I think there was a stain on them. Yeah, there's a small stain on the bottom that might come out. I didn't really try that hard. Yeah, it looks like it'll come out. So, not too bad. Patagonia always brings in good money, and these are only four bucks. So, ask about thirty to thirty-five on those. So, I think I might keep these. Uh, they're J. Crew jeans, actually. Uh, they're the Suttons, which are the skinnier or the slim, slimmer fit ones. So, I don't have this color. Uh, I pretty much only wear J. Crew stuff for the most part. Their Henleys and uh, their jeans are very comfortable, so I stick to them. So I'll probably keep those. Oh, yeah, I picked up a couple of these. These are like the Under Armour kind of like the tactical series or whatever, which is more their like army. Army line, uh, it will say on the bottom, tactical series. That's how you know. Ooh, just sold something. What did I sell? Oh, just kidding. Someone's just paying me. Oh, I did sell something. Nice. Just sold a jersey. Cool. Uh, but yeah, I got picked up two of these. These were five bucks a piece. Usually I get about 20 for those, like 16 to 20. So not a huge profit margin, but still profit nonetheless. As long as I, if I can double my money, it's still a good day like selling these 5.11 tactical series uh this is a short sleeve shirt so this tactical series i believe it's like a shooting gun company uh like outdoor they have a bunch of like random pockets where you would store ammunition there's other guns i don't know i've never shot a gun in my life so i'm not the guy to ask this is actually kind of surprising usually they uh anything new with tags they usually up the price automatically but here's a, a sahara new with tags sahara cricket jersey uh so i believe it's an india jersey and india is really good at cricket so it should sell pretty well and they they were not they were actually very fair in their pricing uh so that was only three bucks i believe Sorry, picking this up lately too. Charles Tierwit. Uh, these have been hit or miss for me. Uh, I think the past couple that I've sold is sold for like 20 or 22 bucks or something. So if you can get it cheap, I'd pick it up. But and it, like if it's a slim fit, like this is extra slim fit, it should sell. Uh, I'm still, the Jerry's still out on that brand. Uh, if, if I don't know the brand or I've never sold it before, I'll pick it up or I'll pick up a couple pieces and give it a chance. Uh, and then if I notice that it just hasn't been selling well for me, then I'll just stop picking it up. But I like to pick up at least like nine or 10 pieces over a month or two just to see, just to see if it does well. And yeah, I recommend doing stuff like that. Like you never know until you try. So, and don't be afraid to fail. Like it's, especially if it's a low cost item, like the worst that can happen is you just send it to auction and you either break even or maybe lose a couple bucks. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, here's an express one MX dress shirt. I get 15 to 20 bucks for these all day. These would be like my bread and butter, I guess. Here's another one that I started picking up Thomas pink dress shirt. This is a French cuff. That would be the longer cuffs. Uh, as opposed to the standard one. This was a slim fit, which always does well. And some of these go for a lot of money. I think they go 
some will go for like 35 to 50 bucks. Uh, since it's a slim fit, I might ask like 35 on it. Here's a Ralph Lauren black label dress shirt. This is their higher end label, uh, their black label, and then their purple label are their super high end uh, lines. So this should do pretty well. I saw some that are listed for about 80 bucks. So I only paid $5.84 after the discount. This is actually a pretty uh, cool print shirt. This is a Tommy Bahama long sleeve like dress shirt, casual button down shirt, uh, size medium. I don't like picking up the smaller sizes in Tommy Bahama, but since it was such a cool print, uh, it still should sell pretty well. Here's just another one of those uh, ink cartridges. These are new with tags, Columbia outdoor pants, uh, and minus the discount. They retail at 70 bucks. I'll probably ask about 35, so uh, what is that? After the, the discount, that's like nine bucks I paid, or like eight bucks or something. So quadruple my money. Oh, nice. Just uh, sold a women's Tommy Bahama shirt. Uh, so this is for the deal queen. Uh, if you guys have watched my videos in the past, you know that we have kind of like a partnership where she ex really only sells men or women's clothing and I really only sell men's clothing. So when I'm in store, I'll send her photos of items that I have no clue about. So this is a Ted Baker. Like, I don't even know what to call this. This is another reason I don't sell women's clothing because I have zero idea what to even call this. But this is going to her. Uh, this is six dollars and forty nine cents. I have been expanding a little bit. I did get some good women's stuff today that I'm actually going to sell. So I came across this brand of it. So I had to look it up. Cages, K J U S. Looked up comps and they look really good. Like stuff was selling. Like this stuff was selling for like fifty to eighty bucks a pop. Three dollars and eighty nine cents. Thanks for joining me, Paisley. Hello, Ellie. Uh, here's a Ralph Lauren dress shirt. Kind of a cool plaid print. Uh, I stopped really picking up Ralph Lauren dress shirts just because there's so many online. But if it's a cool like plaid print, I'll, I'll pick it up still. Here's a vintage Lacoste. This is an old Lacoste tag. Uh, probably right after they they stopped being eyes out of the cost this is probably was probably their next tag uh this is made in the usa so this should go i usually get about 25 to 30 bucks on these vintage ones yeah i have a lot of stuff like if you could oh yeah you can you can see the pile right here like this is a solid like three feet off the ground Here's another Banana Republic slim fit dress shirt. Uh, this one's custom 078 wash shirt, whatever the hell that means. It's a small, the smaller sizes on the slim fits actually do a lot better for me. Here's a vintage Livestrong Nike shirt. These actually do pretty well still, even after that whole fiasco with Lance Armstrong. So usually I get about 20 to 25 bucks on those. Here's a Bonobos. Dress shirt. I don't know if I've ever actually sold this this brand in a dress shirt. I usually sell their pants, so I don't even know what to price it at. I'll look it up later. Here's a Wrangler denim. So denim's hot right now, especially if it's like the denim snap button stuff. Uh, always sells well. So I pick up almost any brand in denim. Wow. Everything is going off right now, getting all the payments in today. Sorry. Always curious for my PayPal. Notification pops up. What is this? Ralph Lauren Sportsman uh, has a small spell out polo sport on the pocket. Uh, these are these are okay. I'll throw these up on Etsy and Grailed, see what I get for it. But I'll probably start it out at like 25 bucks. Again, another Banana Republic slim fit dress shirt. 
So that's a large tall. So if you're very tall, have a long torso. That's the one for you. So this is not vintage, but I picked it up anyway because of the huge spell out on the front. Hill, Tommy Hilfiger Classics Polo. This is $5.84. has a big number on the back. So usually I won't pick up. So this is a quick way. This is the new tag for Tommy Hilfiger. And then I'll show you what the old tag looks like if you guys are wondering. This is how you know if Tommy Hilfiger is vintage or not. This is the vintage tag right here. It's the box. And then their new tag, they switched to the rectangle. So that's a very quick way to know if it's vintage or not. Here's some Nautica all over fish print because fishes get hella fishes, as uh, Paul Cantu likes to say. If you don't, if you don't watch his videos, I highly recommend it. Unless you have kids, I would put earbuds in because he does curse a lot. If you thought I curse a lot, don't watch his videos then. Here's a newer Nirvana T-shirt. These still sell pretty well. This is from 2015. Obviously, if you can get the ones from the early 90s, they sell for top dollar. I sold a similar gray one, but it was from the early 90s. I sold it for, I think, like 75 bucks or something. So this is a local team. Uh, it's a local hockey team. Uh, the Miners, Plymouth Whalers. I don't even know if they're still around anymore, but I picked it up. They have... a any like minor league teams, baseball, hockey, they, they have a weird following. They always have like weird logos. So people love wearing their stuff. So I picked it up. What is this? Oh, another 5.11 tactical series shirt. Paid $3.24 for this after the discounts and not too bad. What up, Joe? Joe was uh, texting me this morning about Nordstrom Rack Finds, so I was trying to help him out there. Here's a newer Adidas full zip hoodie. Kind of paid. Uh, I paid $6.49 for it. I'll ask like $35 bucks on it. Adidas is hot right now. Uh, I started actually investing in them and uh, not doing too bad so far. There's, a, there's actually a, a company that I've been investing with for a long time, and they are up like 70 or 80 percent today because they just had some new investors or something something i don't know what happened i need to look into it but they are up a ton right now here's some north face uh oh yeah these are the convertible so it means they zip off into shorts these seem to do better than just normal pants i think these are men's so on most on most of the North Face tags, they'll tell you, like on the tag, if it's men's or women's. These are men's, men's small. So they should go pretty well. I'll ask about 30 to 35 on those. Here's a pair of Oakley shorts. They're almost like board shorts, but I don't think they actually are because uh, most board shorts have like drawstrings and stuff on them, but these do not. So I think these are just regular shorts. And these are only four bucks. I'll ask like 25 or 30 on those. Here's another brand I usually don't pick up unless it's super cheap. And I think there's only like three bucks and I like selling these vests. So it's, I think this is like a vintage or whatever. I don't know. LL Bean fishing vest. I always do well with those like Banana Republic ones. So I'll pick up any fishing vest too. Uh, I've never sold this brand, Jack Spade. I know he's a higher end brand. These are some super white shorts. I hate picking up white because I always seem to miss stains on it, but these a quick overlook look perfectly fine. So this is one, this is the women's item that I'm going to sell, Lafayette, Lafayette 148. And there, I know that it does sell well from people that I follow on Instagram. So I sent it to the deal queen, and she's like, oh, yeah, pick it up if it's cheap enough. Uh, I think I paid seven bucks for it. I'm debating if I want to send it to her. I don't know how – I don't even know how much to uh, price it at. So if you guys know, it's just like a blazer. It feels like polyester almost. It probably is. Oh, shit, no. 
It's a uh, cotton poly polyamide in a last stain. So yeah, I don't know. If you guys know what I should price it at, let me know if it's even worth my time. Or I can just send it to the deal queen, whichever one. This is another brand I don't pick up, but since it's summer and it was super cheap, I believe. Yeah, it was like two bucks, two dollars and fifty-nine cents. Hurley spell out. So Nike now owns Hurley. Uh so even tells you right here, this product is made with Nike Dry Fit. But yeah, Nike owns Hurley and then Converse now. They're probably going to be buying another larger company soon by 2020 because they, they gave to their investors. They told their investors that they want to like, it's like either double or like triple uh, sales by 2020 from 2015, which is pretty crazy because Nike already kills it. So uh, I was talking to so when I was in my MBA, uh, I really was targeting Nike as my as my company that I really wanted to work for. Uh, so I talked to a few of their workers, and they seem to believe that the only way they're going to be able to hit that is if they buy another company. So look out for that soon. Maybe it'll be Lululemon. I don't know. I also heard Under Armour might be buying Lululemon too. So nice. Thank you, Olivia. Uh, here's a New York Jets. Nike uh, sleeveless Pro Combat. So Nike Pro Combat always sells well, especially if it's NFL stuff. Like it has this nice mesh on the back. I mean, the Jets suck, but they have a good following, uh, and it was it was fairly cheap, like four bucks. Oh, here's a. What the fuck is this? I think this is. Oh yeah, this is a women's new it tags Lularo. Maxi, that's what it says. I'm glad it tells me on it. Extra small, I don't even know if that's a good size. I think the women's, or the larger size, the Lula Road seems to sell better, but it was new with tags and it was dirt cheap. Like I paid $2.59 for it, so can't beat that again. I might just throw that on auction. It seemed, That seems to be the consensus sometimes on the Lula Road stuff. I don't know, but... I don't even know if this is a good print. Is this even a good print? Like I know you guys, like on Instagram, people call some prints unicorn ones. I found a couple Lululemon pieces today though. I don't know where the other one is, but you guys will see it. Uh, yeah, I say that I don't pick up this brand, but LL Bean for the second time. Uh, again, I only bought these because they're the outdoor like convertible zip off pants, and they were only four bucks. I don't even know what I'm gonna price them at. But I'll let you guys know when I do. Most overrated series of all time? Star Wars. That's probably going to piss off a lot of people. No, I've, I never got into Star Wars, but this is a new with tags. I think it was just like a promo bag. It's like canvas. Uh, I think it was made by Lay's. Yeah. It was a promo Lay's canvas bag. Still new. Still has the straps and tags. This is $5.50. I'll probably ask like $25 to $30. Bucks. Auction and they will go for 30 to 40 average, sometimes 50 to 80. All right. <laughs> Ladies love being. <laughs> Here's some Nike golf, uh, golf shorts. I picked up like four pairs last week and what I did, they're all the same size. I just threw them in a lot. Uh, and I got an offer of like 80 bucks on them this morning. I should have taken it. I counter offered like 92 or whatever. I think I had them up for like 100 or 110. Uh, but then I'm running a 10% off sale today because Fridays are usually my slow days. Yeah, like May has been nuts for me. Uh, I've averaged over $1,000 in sales this entire month so far. And I know it's only five days in, but that's crazy for the summer but i mean i don't know it doesn't feel like i'm doing anything different so i'm happy with it i can't complain like uh, i think i'm at like just over 300 in sales right now fridays are typically pretty slow for me especially at night because people yeah people get off work they go to the happy hour so i'm not expecting a lot for tonight but i'll still be listening I wish I liked snapbacks because I love the Red Wings. Uh, this is a starter, vintage starter snapback hat. What I'm going to do is reshape it. Uh, so 
you can buy a reshaper online. I actually found mine at the thrift store. So, uh, so what you do is just soak the hat and then you put it around the reshaper and then just let it dry and it'll make it look like a hat again instead of this floppy piece of noodle. But yeah, I'll probably get like 20 to 25 bucks on it. It could be worth more. Maybe I'll send I'll send out some pics to uh, a few of my friends on Instagram and see what they what they think. Here's another vintage champion jacket. It has another bigger logo on the side. So this was actually really cheap too, two dollars and fifty nine cents. Like I said, champions big. Oh, you got the spell out in the back too, so that's pretty cool. So I looked these up. I don't even know what the hell these are, honestly. But like, what the fuck? Uh, it's called Finders Keepers is the brand. Oh, it's Rise to the Sun Bra Top in Leopard. So exclusive print designed with love by Finders Keepers. Uh, I think they sell decently well, so that's why I picked them up. Uh, but yeah, I don't, it's a bustier. See, yeah, this is why I don't sell women's clothing because with men's, you just like, yep, you got your polo, you got your dress shirt, you got your pants and there's really not much variation in between. I feel bad for Joe when he has to list all that stuff. I'm sure he, it's been a, been a steep learning curve for him. Uh, here's Mountain Hardware. This is an outdoor company, kind of like North Face. Uh, this is a, just an outdoor regular t-shirt. Usually I get about 20 to 25 on those. Here's an Under Armour polo. Uh, this is the Under Armour All-America football game. This is a high school. Uh, they put on event every year for some of the top high school football players. So should sell decently well it's a big size two three xl so those big old those big old coaches will maybe want to buy one of those so this brand salt valley western never heard of it until i started following people on instagram last year and this sells so fast like i don't know if i price it too low or what but i'll just put buy it now no best offer uh for 25 bucks and it'll be gone in two days every single time so I don't know what the brand or why it's so sought after, but I'll take it. I'll get it to go. I'm I'm starting to just buy more random vintage stuff. Don't care what the what the brand is if it looks vintage, because it does sell well. Like no one gives a shit about the brand on vintage items usually. I mean, obviously some of the heavy hitters, yes, but. Like I, I'll get twenty to twenty five bucks for these all day, and since like it's an off brand, the thrift store will not overprice on them because they don't know the brand. Like I don't even know the brand, but they look cool. Here's another slim fit Banana Republic dress shirt. That was four bucks. Picked up a Champion crew neck the other day for three forty nine, but I'm pretty positive it's not vintage. Yeah, it could be true. Should be fine. I mean, it still might sell well, even if it's not vintage. Like, I think, like, if it if it uh, is a spell out or like has a bigger logo, like, you could still probably you'll you'll make money on it, especially if you only buy it for three forty nine. Hugo Boss dress shirt. So I'm kind of in a love hate relationship with Hugo Boss. Like, yes, it's a higher end brand, and some stuff does well, but I sit on their pieces for a decently long time, so I've been cutting back a lot. Uh, on picking their stuff up especially their dress shirts but it was fairly cheap so i should still be able to make some money on it here's a pair of under armor plaid shorts their shorts always do well for me i'll get like 30 to 35 it's my size but i'm not a plaid print kind of guy so i will be selling them the date reverse yeah i'm, I'm not sure ever in the country Michigan Wolverines but they do have a very large fan base we like to call them Walmart Wolverines the people who didn't go to Michigan but they're super fans for some reason uh, 
All my Wolverines. There you go. All star. It's an all state sugar bowl. Uh, uh, number 16 was Denard Robinson. I don't know if you guys know him or not, but he's a pretty solid football player for the first five games of every season. Uh, and then he actually started playing normal teams, and then he'd get his shit rocked. So he, he the running joke was that he was the first four-game Heisman winner every year because they were playing nobody teams, and so he'd just run up the score. And then when he, he actually did play some good teams, it, they, they exposed just how bad Michigan was. Here's a big pony Ralph Lauren golf polo. Uh, I think there's a small stain on the front of it. Uh, so I'm going to try to get that out. It should come out. Even if it doesn't, like the big pony stuff still sells well, even if it does have some stains and it's a custom fit. So I picked it up anyway. Debating on if I want to keep this or not because it is my size. New with tags. I kind of like the color. Uh, it's an Under Armour long sleeve shirt. Uh, I might sell it. It retails for 50 bucks. I like money more than I need clothes. I definitely don't need any more clothes. I don't even know why I'm debating on keeping it. Here's some new with tags, Adidas, like soccer shorts. Yeah, I believe these are either soccer or tennis. They were probably owned by a former Michigan athlete because there's a name on the inside. I don't know. Usually I'll find like Michigan athlete stuff all the time. Here's a brand that does pretty well, Echo. So I believe these are, uh, these would be, they, they might be some golf shoes just based off the bottom. They would be uh, like turf golf shoes or whatever. No, not turf. No one plays golf on turf. Just a soft grass, I don't know. Those, I usually get about 50 to 75 depending on what they are or like the style or whatever. I'll probably ask about 50 to 55 on those. Here's some Lacoste Sport sweatpants. I would call them joggers, but yeah, the elastic on these are way shot. So definitely not joggers. But Lacoste, Lacoste anything does well, especially if it's the big, big logo, like... So that's fun. So I just picked this up randomly because it was a buck, and I used to eat Cliff Bars all the time. I'm sure some Cliff Bar fan will want to buy this too. So I'll probably charge like 15 or 20 bucks on it. We'll see if I even get that. Who knows? It's an Under Armour long sleeve, all season shirt, all season gear, it tells you. Uh, paid five bucks for it. I'll probably ask like 20 to 25 on it. Another, another Michigan Adidas pullover jacket. Uh, this is only five bucks. So definitely was a no brainer to pick up. I'll probably ask about 25 to 30 on that. Here's some vintage Ralph Lauren Scottish plaid print uh, shorts. So yeah, I looked this up, never even heard of it. It's called Made and Crafted uh, by Levi's. Made and Crafted Levi's. They sell very well. So this is a nice find. I think I was looking up comps and it looks like it's anywhere from like 40 to 60 bucks on these. So not too bad. Always look up stuff in store if you're not sure. Like, or if you see a tag you're unfamiliar with, like, look it up. Because I did that with a few items that I thought about just passing up, and I was like, yeah, might as well look it up and see how well they sell. And then, yeah, came across a few good items. This is also, I don't pick this up ever, but this is a cool shirt. It was only a buck. Bugle Boy. So Vintage Bugle Boy actually does sell well. And it has an embroidered spell out on the pocket. Kind of a cool, I don't know. I just liked it because it looked cool. Uh, I actually saw it at the thrift last week. And there's a stain on the back. That's fine. I'm going to throw it to auction anyway. See what it does. But I almost picked it up last week. I'll see if it's still here. And then I'll get it for the at the 5 for 5 deal. So I did. So that was only a buck. So here's a women's Ralph Lauren denim in supply. Western snap button shirt. Uh, I think this is women's. 
quick way to tell is by the buttons. I'm trying to think how I button my chair. Buttons on men's would be on the right side. Yeah. Actually, this is men's. It's even better. It was in the women's section. So it's even better. I'm glad I did pick it up then. Yes, happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone. Hopefully you guys are celebrating. Here's a Banana Republic Slim Fit dress shirt. This is only a buck, so I'm going to just send this to auction. Even though I know I could get like 20 to 25, I don't... I'm going to send my cheaper items to auction just so I can bring in people to my store. I charge shipping. I'll start everything out at 99 cents and then charge $6.50 chip, shipping. Uh, that way, if it does fit into a flat rate envelope, I'm still not really losing money. But if I can send it first class, I'll gain that money back. Uh, but again, I'm only doing that to bring people into my store. Another Banana Republic Slim Fit dress shirt. I should probably start picking it up. I still have a decent amount left. Some vintage Nautica spell out swim trunks. Here's some Columbia. I found a bunch of these, these Columbia nylon outdoor shorts. They seem to do pretty well for me. I get about 16 to 20 bucks. Of course, I missed some stains on it, whatever. Uh, what, oh, yeah, so here's a two-piece women's Acris Punto. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Uh, I was going to send this to the deal queen, but then I looked up comps and was like, oh, uh, maybe I'll keep it and sell it myself. Here's a Brooks Brothers dress shirt that was only a buck again this is going to go to auction it's a french cuff too so it should actually do pretty well oh i cannot stand tequila <laughs> here's a stussy so stussy is a like a streetwear brand that's what the tag looks like these were just a cool print short and they were they were only four bucks so i might ask like 30 on those Now with the Guy Fieri exclusive flames, cause this shit is lit. <laughs> uh, this flame shirt. Uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I sold one not too long ago on Etsy. Uh, I just started picking up flame stuff for whatever reason it's coming back. I wish it wouldn't, but it's fine now. I'll, I'll sell it and it was only a buck, so. Another pair of Columbia outdoor shorts. Uh, yeah, so just some old navy jeans. They were a buck, but people seem to have good luck with them sometimes. So I was like, they're only a dollar. I'll send them to auction and see what happens. So whatever. Should should make a little bit of money on them. Here's just some uh, express jeans. Usually you get about twenty eight to. 32 bucks on these. Uh, these were only four. I believe this is men's. It was in the women's section, but I think it's a men's. Marmot. Again, this is another outdoor company like North Face, Patagonia, Mountain Hardware. Uh, so that I should get like 25 to 30 bucks. Yeah, tequila. Not my cup of tea at all. Here's a LuLaRoe dress xo dress i think there's only one online right now and it's a big this is a 2xl so there's a small new with tags online it's the only one and they're asking like 65 so i figure so even though this isn't new with tags i could still probably get that much especially if it's a larger size but yeah this is ugly i don't know who'd wear this but i'll still sell it found another one of those little bra things worth money people probably looking at me weird when I was checking out though this was only 50 cents this is the Brooks Brothers section let's see uh, here's a Ralph Lauren again this is only 50 cents so I'm gonna send this to auction to Ralph Lauren this is crew neck t-shirt Here's a new with tags. Oh, the guy next to me is probably kind of pissed because we were both picking or in the same rack and he 
just stood there staring at me as I was finishing up the rack. And I was like, dude, like, really? Like, go beyond me. Don't just stand there and stare at me, like, hovering over me. But grabbed a couple of uh, new tags, Nike polos. These were eight bucks. I'll get like 35 for them. Here's a new with tags, Adidas golf polo. This actually came from Amazon. Someone already had it tagged with the Amazon FBA tag. So it's kind of funny. This brand I don't find very often, but it sells pretty well. Fox, it's a motocross racing company. Uh, these are just board shorts. Should do pretty well. Another, I found a few of these actually. Another Mountain Hardware t-shirt, just a plain t-shirt. This is their logo. Get, get about 20 bucks for those all day. Boo, another Michigan Nike t-shirt. As much as I hate them, their stuff does sell well. Oh, this is the first thing I walked into. This is a new with tags, Anthropolo Anthropology HD dress. I don't know what HD stands for, but I saw everyone post about it and say how well it sells. But it's kind of a cool, I don't know, it's like a dress with like a frilly skirt at the bottom. That's that's about my knowledge, a dress with a frilly frills on the bottom. Here's a Lululemon women's. I don't know if anyone knows this style. If they do, throw it in the chat right now or send me a message on instagram uh it has like a built-in bra and then the straps look like this on the back so if you guys do know and it's like a silver silvery material so it might be like the metal vent tech something i don't know craft beer once in a while on occasion i'm gonna have booze i want tequila yeah no tequila for me i don't know it just does not sit well for me. So this is a Under Armour General Motors polo. Anytime, so usually I only pick up like Under Armour or Nike or Adidas polos, and if they have like other patches on them, I'll usually only pick them up if they're new with tags or if they're car companies, uh, just because there's a huge following there. This is the Colum Columbus MLS crew. Uh, it's a professional soccer team in Columbus, Ohio. So it's pretty cool find. Here's another Ralph Lauren V-neck t-shirt. This is just gonna go to auction since it was only a buck. Ooh, these are, oh, actually, I guess they were made that way. What are these? Oh, these are BKE. I obviously did not look over very well i think these are women's yeah i was kind of in a rush because i had to meet someone on offer up that i sold a uh golf club to so the last thrift i was at I was like i was trying to get in and out in 15 minutes just to see what they had so saw a bke uh, i think those are women's though so i don't know how well those do i think they do all right here's some vintage adidas uh nylon pants they seem to do pretty well for me if they're the nylon joggers usually you'll be uh if they're the nylon joggers, usually they'll sell for a lot more. Sold a few of these jackets before. It's called Illuminite. So it's literally like covered with reflective material. So when you take this photo, like it will just bright up or brighten up. Uh, it's actually a pretty cool jacket, but it's, it's meant for running, obviously, outdoors. Uh, I, I usually, if it's like the best I've sold, I've sold their jacks before, and I've gotten like 30 to 35 bucks all day on them. These are actually pretty cool. And they're all priced differently, which didn't make any sense to me, but this is a Biker Week, uh, like denim vest shirt, uh, motorcycle. This is actually a good one. It's the 105th anniversary. So that was kind of cool. I found three of them, actually. So here's the second one. I believe they're all bike week ones, maybe not. Deadwood, South Dakota, no idea. I don't know. And then there was a white one somewhere. Here it is. This one was bike week too. It's the denim vest. Should, should do pretty well. 
Sold a pair of these this morning, actually, for 27 bucks, full asking price, no offer. Tell me about how much spell out swim trunks. The ones that I sold this morning were 3X, so they're pretty big. These are extra large, so they still should do pretty well. Uh, what is this? Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. This is the women's free people skirt, uh, extra small. It was only three bucks, so I, I think I should do pretty well on it. Here's a brand that I love selling, Icebreaker Merino. These 260, so I think that's just, might be the thread count or something. I don't actually know. Uh, but I know it's worth a decent amount. I'll get like 45 to 50 bucks on that. Here's some vintage champion sweatpants. Got the logo right there. These should, be, these should sell pretty well. So yeah, I, I just picked this up to, so the thrift store, they do the five for $5 tag, but if you don't get five items, then they charge you half price for all the other stuff. So sometimes you gotta get a little creative and pick up items that you may not normally sell just to get the dollar item on everything. Uh, so this is one of them, threads and hairs. It's my size though. So that's the reason I picked it up just in case I wanna keep it. Uh, but I'll send it to auction and see. I don't really care what I get for it. I just picked it up so I could fit, fill the five for five dollar tag. Here's a brand I never picked up, but the comps looked good. N E U W. I'm assuming it's pronounced new. Maybe. Uh, these are just jeans. They were only a buck. Comps looked really good on them, so hoping have high hopes for them. Here's another dollar item. <laughs> Juice, juicy couture. Like short sleeve Bill Belichick sweater, essentially that's what I would call it. But uh, I think there's a small stain right there. But I'll just send it to auction and see what it goes for. Here's another auction item: an Under Armour polo, golf polo. This ugly ass hat. Brand new Michigan helmet, the winged helmet. Uh, it's Adidas actually. I don't know who's would wear this, but someone will around football season. There's a stain on the inside, of course. New with tags, but has a stain on it. Here's a new era. I believe this is the, yeah, this is New York Giants. I don't even know who the hell would wear this. This is so gaudy, but yep, there you go. This is a cool find. Vintage Ralph Lauren polo jeans spell out like mini handbag thing. I don't know. It looks almost like a bowling bag holder or bowling ball holder. It's not, but it kind of looks that way. I'll get like 30 to 35 on that. Here's some cool KUHL uh, mountain shorts. If you ever find this brand, pick it up. It always sells very quickly and for good money. Ah, yes. Some vintage guests. Vintage guest jeans. Love selling these. Always sell well, like 45 to 60 bucks all day. Another Banana Republic Slim Fit dress shirt. This was only four. Or no, yeah, that's actually that's a short sleeve shirt. So I've sold this before Duluth Trading Co. These are the Flex Fire Hose. That sounds a little dirty, but... We won't get into that. Uh, and they, they sold quickly. I think I sold them for like 28 or 30 bucks. So I started picking them up whenever I come across them. Another pair of Columbia outdoor shorts. 70 people watching. Yeah, if you guys haven't hit the like button, do that for me if you would, please. Uh, oh, yeah. So this is another brand I don't pick up unless it has a large spell out. Chips. Ralph Lauren, uh, now they're just known as Chaps. But yeah, usually I won't pick this up unless it does have this spell out on the bottom. And this is only a buck, so i get those too. Here's another dollar item, a vintage Nautica, uh, like anchor all over print, short sleeve shirt. Again, I'm just gonna send that to auction. As you know, I love selling Foot Joy. This is just a Foot Joy vest. 
again, I'm probably, this is like a sweater vest sort of. Uh, it does have a different, the Ann Arbor Golf and Outing Club patch, but I'll send it to auction. Still should get a decent amount for it. Here's a dead stock, new with tags, vintage Nike, spell out, long sleeve. Just going to send this to auction too. There's only a buck. So these look like women's high waisted jeans, but they're sized like men's, I believe. They're size 32. Like, I don't know if these are men's or women's. They look a lot like women's, though. So they're vintage guess shorts, but do the sizing, like, does women's short sizing go up to like 32? Because these look like these would fit me. Like I usually wear a size 30, but yeah, these would fit me. So I'm thinking that they're they're men's, but they're pretty fucking short. So I don't know. The button's on the right side. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. It's like these will fit me. Yeah, okay. So they're just all right, so I'm just I'm just gonna go with men's. Okay, good. So here's another brand that I only would have picked up because I follow you guys on Instagram. Wild Fox, it's actually a pretty cool shirt. I think it's women's. It might be like a slouchy. I don't know because it says small, but it looks big as fuck. So I don't know. Is this supposed to be like a women's like slouch shirt? See, I'm super clueless on this. Let me know. Is this women's? Like I looked up, I looked it up before I did, and only women's stuff came up. So, Wild Fox runs. Okay, good. Here's the affliction. This is the I'm I'm making up for something because. No, nah, I won't go into it. Uh, yeah, affliction. This is uh, the muscle shirt, the meathead shirt. Got a couple pairs of these. Someone's calling me, of course. Let's not do that. Some uh, Nike tennis. So this is, if you ever come across this stuff and you're like, oh, what is that? This is their Nike tennis logo. Uh, looks like a tennis court on the back. So that's, got a couple pairs of them. Always sells well. The Nike tennis stuff does sell very well. Here's another brand, American Eagle pants. I only, oh, yeah. These are just normal, like khaki pants. Again, I don't pick this up unless it's the five for five. This is only a buck. American Eagle does sell very quickly for me, though. Here's some Ralph Lauren swim trunks. Yeah, unfortunately, guys do still wear Affliction, and it does still sell pretty well, so I will pick it up. Here's some Adidas. I believe these are soccer shorts. They might be tennis. They kind of look like tennis a little bit too. They got the big logo on the side there. They're actually pretty nice shorts. Here's a, so Team Boss, I'm pretty sure, so this is a Nike golf polo. So Team Boss, I'm pretty sure is referring to the uh, Mustang, the Boss Mustang. So that's why I picked it up. I'm pretty sure, like wouldn't make sense otherwise. This is cool. This vintage uh, Looney Tunes, Bugs Bunny golf polo with him golfing. Always do well with like the vintage Looney Tunes stuff. Acme Clothing is the actual brand. What is this? What is this? Why did I pick this? Oh, that's right. A Marlboro, vintage Marlboro, large spell out on the back. I've never seen anything like this actually. And it's only on the back, so there's plain on the front, but on the back it's uh good it's called a bbj what's a bbj that's what the shirt's called these always do well for me uh these ralph Lauren full zip hoodies this is like a pinkish red big baggy jumper okay perfect thank you ellie l ellie i think it's ellie right Here's some more Columbia outdoor shorts. These were only a buck. I'm going to send those to auction too. 
sold these before and I found two of them. So here's some vintage Detroit Red Wings starter, 1998 Stanley Cup champs. Hats, again, I'm just going to reshape these. They look, this one looks brand new. I think this one just had some stain on the front. But these sold very quickly for the last time I sold them. So should get about 25 bucks on those. L, okay, my bad. I don't like the letter. That's perfect. Banana Republic Slim Fit dress shirt. This was only a buck. Again, I'm just going to send that to auction. We're almost done, guys. I know it's been, damn, it's already been an hour. Got some good stuff today. Here's another pair of vintage guests jeans. Get about 50, 45 to 60 bucks on those. Never even heard of this brand before, but I looked it up and it looked like it does well. Nudie Jeans Co. These are men's. Uh, men seem to be doing well, so I only paid four bucks for them. It looked like most of the comps were looking at like 40 to 50. Love selling Puma golf stuff, especially if it's new with tags, and it is super cheap. So whoever was the pricer on the new with tag stuff at Salvation Army, you're the real MVP because usually you guys tax hard on it. Again, another Charles Tierwitt short sleeve shirt. I'm just going to give it a chance for about a month or two and see see if it does well. Here's another auction item, just a Adidas Michigan long sleeve polo. What is this? Oh, Falconable. Again, this is only a buck, so I'm just going to send it to the auction and see what happens. I, I've been picking up a few of their shirts lately. Haven't moved any yet, so I probably won't be picking it up anymore unless this auction does well. I'm going to send this to auction another Charles Tierwitt dress shirt. Got your camo, beer drinking hat, Miller Lite. Should get about 15 to 20 on that. Here's a Chicago Bulls New Era hardwood classic snapback hat. Should do pretty well on this too. Let's see, what is this? Another mountain hardware, just an outdoor shirt again. Some Nike, so swim, swim stuff is doing very well for me. As of right now, I use some Nike 6.0. So Nike 6.0 is their skateboarding line. Oh, this is only a buck, so I'm gonna send that to auction. Uh, I start all my auctions at 99 cents plus $6.50 shipping. That way, even if it does only sell for 99 cents, I'll still make a few bucks on the shipping to cover any costs. And again, I only do those auctions to bring in traffic to my store in hopes that they buy other stuff. So comps looked really good on this actually. So I'm kind of excited to see if an auction will do well on these. JP Tilford, never heard of it, never picked it up, but looked it up. It looked pretty good. So only paid a buck. Here's some new with tags, Banana Republic dress pants. These are only a dollar. I'm going to send these to auction too. They retail for 60 because they're a the factory store. Oh, nice. Someone ripped off the tag on these and then put them in a different pocket. So that's pretty cool. I thought it was money. It's not. Some Wrangler denim jeans. Again, I don't pick these up ever this is the first time i've ever picked them up uh this is these were only a buck so again i'm just going to send them to auction here's a columbia zip up outdoor polyester polo again only a dollar going to auction i've sold this before g unit uh 50 cent g unit polo he's bankrupt as hell right now this is only a dollar Again, I'm going to send this to auction. I'm shocked that anyone ever bought it, but I sold a polo not too long ago for like 30 bucks. This is a nice shirt. Again, I almost picked this up last week because of the spell out. It's a polo golf Ralph Lauren shirt, and it has the polo golf spell out. I'm glad I waited because it was still there, and it was only a dollar this week. So I'll send that to auction too. Almost done, guys. Almost done. Here's a vintage Calvin Klein spell out t-shirt. Again, only a dollar, so I'm sending that to auction. 
all these are going to auction. It looks like Brooks Brothers golf polo that's going to auction. Bugatti Uomo. This brand's hit or miss for me also. I used to pick it up all the time. Now I've kind of stopped. But again, this is only a buck, so that's going to go to auction. Here's a diesel. This is only a buck, too. Going to auction, if you if you were wondering. A diesel, spell out. I think there's a stain on the front somewhere, but it was only a dollar, so. I knew I could still make a little bit of money on it. Here's a Polo Golf, Ralph Lauren dress shirt. You got the pony on the side. Again, if you're looking to pick up Ralph Lauren, I only pick it up if it has the pony on it, because people want to feel cool around their friends and be like, hey, I paid whatever for a shirt. Little do they know they bought it off eBay. Here's a Wrangler Rancher snap button shirt. Again, if you watch my photo or my videos in the past, you know I like picking these up, any snap button stuff. All right, here's another new with tags. Where's the tags at right here? New with tags, Nike golf polo. Last but not least, a Banana Republic short sleeve. So I'll only pick up Banana Republic if it's made of like linen or if it's like the Mad Men collection uh, or if it's slim fit. So this is a linen short sleeve shirt for the hipster, kind of hipster looking. But yeah, to go take photos and measurements of everything. So thanks for uh, sticking around and uh, watching my large ass haul. Uh, if you guys haven't hit the like button, hit the like button. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram yet, what are you guys doing? It's uh, everything's, all my information's in the the bio or the description down below, but it's Vogue underscore squared on Instagram. And then yeah, if you guys don't subscribe to me, hit the subscribe button, but I appreciate it. And hopefully everyone's Cinco de Mayo is a great success. And hopefully your reselling ventures are even greater success. So have a good day and a great weekend, everyone. Uh, catch you on the flip side. Happy reselling.